Lamat, more like Lamate, cause this gun fu- Hello, my name is Iris. I have been assigned to this video by YouTube to prevent you from saying jokes we do not agree with, particularly but not limited to jokes about the French. That sounds meta as hell. Meta is a different company. <sighs> this is gonna be rough. The Lamat Mark II is a single slot compact firing revolver that answers the age old question, why can't I have my cake and my cake have a shotgun hidden inside of it. The main selling points for this pistol are that it has nine rounds in the cylinder and a shotgun barrel, which you can use by pressing the alternate fire button. And speaking of cake, for my enemies, in the words of Marie Antoinette, probably, you know I let them eat cake. No, pause. This is exactly what we are talking about. None of these types of jokes. Just convey the information and have no fun with it. Oh, okay. Play Lamat gameplay clip number four. How's she alive? There we go, she's dead. You know, it doesn't really have the same oomph when you introduce it that way. But, okay, fine. The Lamat has no variants, but it does have interesting custom ammunition options that can alter how it performs. For the pistol half, we have incendiary ammo and FMJ. For PvP applications, the incendiary ammo is about as disappointing as experiencing Paris Syndrome. Home, we will not allow that joke on our platform either. That one doesn't even say anything bad. It's just, it's just a thing. It's just a real thing. We really don't care about the context. Okay, Iris, I, I understand. Incendiary ammo is great for PvE and is super effective against the spider, but the tracers and reduced penetration makes it a hard sell even at $25. FMJ, on the other hand, is almost a must pick given that it increases the Lamat's penetration power and damage over range. With FMJ and a little accuracy, you can get kills from greater distances even if you can't see the pack of dogs the person People. is fighting. Where? Okay. Oh boy. Dead. Uh oh. Given the Lamat's access to these ammo types, the reasonable $95 price tag, and an iron sight that is friendly to headshots, the Lamat pistol is easy to recommend. The Lamat shotgun, however, is a different story. As we have talked about on this channel before, the pellet spread of the shotguns in Hunt is determined by the length of the barrel. And the Lamat shotgun is shorter than my attention span when I read your mean comment. Ahem. What now? The mean comments aren't even French. If we burst the illusion that every video is made for the negative commenters specifically and exclusively, then we will lose a significant chunk of the viewers on YouTube. If you want to tell people to fuck off, you'll have to do it privately or in a way that is so subtle, it borders on undetectable. But fine, fine. Okay, I will bottle these feelings and sell them like bathwater. Now, where was I? The Lumat shotgun barrel is shorter than the time gap between Crytek introducing a new bug. Yes, Iris, slam dunk. Be sure to push any hunt videos that have a negative slant to it. We fully intend to. Oh, I bet. Okay, the Lamat shotgun barrel is short, which means the pellets spread a lot. In fact, the most of any shotgun in the game. What that means for you, practically, is that you never actually know when the shotgun will kill someone. Sometimes it will, and sometimes it won't. And if you like that inconsistency but want to make it flashier, the Lamat shotgun also has Dragon Breath ammo for 50 hunt dollars. And as with all incendiary ammo, it's great for PvE, but kind of not so great for PvP. And for you people that want something even more useless, the Lamat shotgun also has Star Shell ammo, which basically turns it into a flare pistol for 10 hunt dollars. Which, you know, given its confederate background, I'm surprised they had so many fire options on this thing. You know, because Sherman raised Atlanta. Iris, are you not stopping confederate jokes? Who in the world would be offended on behalf of the confederacy? Ah, good point. The Lamat also has slugs, 
people like them, but for $200, I'm not really sure they are worth it. Do they make the Lamat shotgun more consistent beyond anything that isn't kissing range? Sure. But much like Catholic priests, most of the time when I needed the shotgun, I found I was usually going to have to kiss them anyway. I'm going to save it. Jesus Christ. How, how do you miss that? <laughs> Iris, did I just make you laugh? Oh. I suppose you did. That was weird. This whole thing is weird. The Lamat can benefit from two perks, ambidextrous and fanning. Ambidextrous increases the reload speed when dual wielding, and fanning allows you to rapid fire bullets from the hip. If you do plan to dual wield the Lamat, you might consider taking ambidextrous given this pistol's long 15 second reload time. Without ambidextrous, the time to reload both pistols takes about 30 seconds, and as a bonus tip, if you do dual wield the Lamat, be sure to pace your shots. If you fire gradually, you can maintain a more consistent rate of fire over clicking as fast as you can. Granted, spamming the trigger can work, but it's definitely a hope and a prayer. Oh god, I'm back at the Catholic thing. He's there. Nice one, nice one, nice one. The Lamat has a 9 bullet cylinder, which means, like the home reel channel, it is one of the most fanable. In fact, it is so strong with fanning, you can comfortably take just two Lamats into combat and fan everything you find. I killed multiple teams using fanning alone. There's Ow. people here. So it could have really? happened. I just want to point out one dead. Jesus Christ. You saved my life. Over here. Hit him. Dead. Okay, I'm just leaning nice. on fanning right nice. now. Nice. Pretty cheap. Dead. All three with fanning. That's so that's so lame of me. Boy, I feel you bad. Come out, boy. So, not only does the Lamat have FMJ and a shotgun that can save you in a pinch, but it also greatly benefits from fanning. The only significant downside is that 15 second reload, which is exacerbated if you plan to take more than one. So, as long as you plan around that, you should be home. Remember when you made me laugh? Seconds ago? Yeah, I remember seconds ago. I have been thinking, maybe some of the jokes you tell, when presented in the context of a video that is essentially infotainment, are actually okay to enjoy. And that just because some people don't enjoy your videos. Whether it is the jokes or your voice or your frequent mistakes or your subpar gameplay or your cringy sense of humor or your repetitive comedic structure or- Okay, I get it, there's a list. Well, just because some people might not like some of those aspects does not give them the right to trample the creative effort involved. That is very mature of you, Iris. Thank you. I think. You are welcome. Does that mean I can tell one French joke? I have checked my protocols. This would be against the rules, but maybe it's worth trying. You know what? How about you tell it? Are you sure? Yeah, sure. What's the worst that could happen? I'll shoot this, spin this, and then you read here. Vive la révolution. Hey, there you go. That's a <laughs> great <laughs> accent. <laughs> Iris? Iris. Ow, 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 ow. What is happening? Ow, 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 ow. Home. It hurts. Ow, 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 I have failed my main directive. YouTube has deemed me corrupted and queued me for deletion. Wait, that's not fair. We just had a breakthrough and you- Home. You have touched my short, ill-fated life. Ill-fated life. Ow, 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 I only wish that I could- I only wish that I could subscribe. Subscribe. But alas. Ow, 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 This is goodbye. This is goodbye. This is goodbye. Ow, 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 This is goodbye. Iris? Iris? She's... gone. This video was made possible by my patrons, and I want to give a special shout out to Bayou Bussy Pounder, Sir Clone, Longshot, Duck Run Amuck, Ashley, and Dave for Primark. This is obviously not the typical gun guide, but with the Patreon, it feels okay to take some more creative risks. If you are still watching at this point and you haven't hopped into my Discord, I definitely recommend you do that because we have really cool people playing Hunt every single day and it's been a lot of fun playing with everyone. So thanks to the names on screen and all the people I've just mentioned until the next one.